guys. So I want to do a review of my Pulip Luna Rosa. This is a Tokidoki collaboration with Groove. It is um, the second that had been released. There have been three Tokidoki collaborations total. Um, the first one was, I think you can see them in the back here, but the original Luna and Violetta. Um, so the first Tokidoki had, I think, sold out or kind of got a little bit harder to get a hold of. Obviously a very popular release. So in 2014, they released Luna Rosa, which is Luna with very much a pink coloring to her. Uh, I think she's been pretty popular as well. Uh, I did not get her when she came out and I just regretted it. And just recently when I was in Japan, I happened to see her in the shot and I just had to have her. So yay, I finally got her. So a couple of you had um, requested this review, so I'm excited to talk about Luna Rosa here. Um, I will start with her stock because she does come with some fun stuff. Let me start with her hat here. And then I'll, you know, I'll kind of compare her to the other dolls. If you have, if you have one of these, you know the quality of this little hat is one of my absolute favorite pieces of stock. It's got um, the little skeleton, I can't remember his name, on the front here, the little puff on top, and then the Tokidoki um, label on the back. A really pretty, almost like a lavender color. Put this over here. Okay, I have her bag on her here, but I want you to see her outfit, so let me just kind of maneuver this around here. So her little outfit, she comes with a second shirt here, but this is her little shirt. It's got the little cactus um, print on it. Adorable little skirt. Underneath her skirt, she has these shorts. And then she's got the striped tights and love these boots. How hip are these little booties? And I mean, the, the details here are like her little armband and her little choker. I mean, these are the little fun things that you really appreciate. But let me show you her bag now. So she does come with this handbag and it really zips and it's got that trademark Tokidoki um, print on it. I mean, I want a bag like this. This is so hip, love it. And in addition to that, she also comes with the little Donatella plush. So cute. This is that second shirt that I mentioned. So she can wear this probably over the skirt or if you take the skirt off, she can wear the little shorts with this shirt. Just gorgeous. And then lastly, you may have seen in the promo photos that um, she looks like she has um, tattoos and they're really just decals or stickers that you can stick on your doll. Like these hearts, I've seen them on her cheek. I just don't wanna do that. Um, I don't know if they're removable, so I'm just gonna save them. All right, so let's talk about the doll, this wig here. It is incredibly soft. It's kind of a white on top and a very hot pink on the bottom. If you can see kind of the coloring here. It's straight, but if you look at my doll, and this might just be mine, she's got kind of this kink across the, the back of her head. You know, if you have long hair like I do, and you put it in a ponytail and you take it out and it's got kind of that weird line, I feel like that's what's happening here, and I don't know what to do about that. So I'm a little disappointed. Um, I wonder if it's because her hat is on her head, but it's just, you might not even be able to see it on camera, but it does bother me a little bit. Uh, it's also kind of a thin wig. So let me show you if you can see the top of her head here. You can see her wig cap, like right through the hairs on her head. I mean, I don't even really need to move anything out the way. Now her, hat covers this up, but still, it's a little disappointing. All right, so her face, gorgeous face. She's got like a dramatic eye, eye makeup. She's got a pink and blue eyeshadow. Just beautiful face. 
And I love that these Tokidoki dolls have um, kind of like a black um, eye. You know, so they, you know, they just, they, they, it gives them kind of that real, really true doll quality, if that makes sense. And I expected her lids to be pink, you guys, but they are just plain. But she is very pretty. I'm so glad I got her. So let me just, first of all, let me put her hat back on for the full effect. So let me hold her up really quick next to the other doll so you can kind of see the differences here. So this is Luna, the original Luna, and Luna Rosa. You can see that their faces very similar. A lot of it is the coloring of their outfits, but I do think like the lip color is different. There are some minor changes like to the face. The original Luna, uh, with this green hair here, and I did a review on her. It is a rough wig. I mean, it is dry and brittle at the ends. So they did make some improvements with Luna Rosa, but still. And then Violetta, who is one of my favorites. I just want you to see the purple next to the pink here. Again, you can tell that they are related with, that, with those big dark eyes and that um, dramatic makeup. But I think the two of these probably go a little bit better together. Anyway, I'm so happy to have all three of them now. Yay! If you guys have any questions about Luna Rosa here, please let me know. Thanks.